to speak about trusting in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord. What we have read today, the Bible says, trust with all your heart. And live not on your own understanding. Then I will start by saying, can you ask the person that is close to you, what is trusting in the Lord? Then allow the next person to answer you. What is trusting in the Lord? What is trusting in the Lord? We tend to, to divert or move away from the real meaning of trusting in the Lord. More than we have read the Bible says, trust in the Lord and live not in your own understanding. In other words, when you trust in the Lord, you don't believe in anything that comes to your mind. You don't believe in anything that somebody tells you. You don't believe in structural things that have been there from a long time ago. You don't believe in laws that have been placed from maybe a long time ago. You don't believe in things that people are believing in. You only believe in the Lord. Now then I can go and ask, what is it that is called believing in the Lord? Or what am I again? To trust in the Lord is to believe in whatever that God says to you, upon your life, in you, and in everything otherwise upon you. In other words, how an autumn we put our in Naginyo called Sepamaren. I want to trust in the Lord. It means you take everything that pertaineth to you, everything that belongs to you, everything that is called your own, everything that is following you, and put those things in the hands of the Lord and say, Father, take care of my belongings, take care of my children, take care of my house, take care of my money, take care, take care. Take care. And when you say unto the Lord, take care, you are also saying unto him, I'm not going to come to you and ask you questions about what I've given you. That is trust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. I don't know the way around. Trusting in the Lord is when we na uchi adilu chao kamuka wadifana. Okay, like security. You are having a security at your home. The security takes care and take uh, protect your house, protect everything that you own. You don't go to the security. The valley when alingo vone waskaba vuzi sorry. What is going on? You wait maybe when somebody comes, something comes, something happens. Then you go to the security and ask, what happened yesterday night? Isn't it? Now when you are saying, I'm trusting in the Lord, it means you have taken your body, your soul, your spirit, your understanding, your wisdom, your knowledge, what you've been made of, and give it totally unto God. And when you give it totally unto God, you said to God, Father, I'm giving you my life. I'm giving you my everything. I'm giving you everything that I own so that you can be a security over them or you can be somebody who is taking care of those things. I don't want to ask about them anymore. I don't want to go around asking or taking care of what I have anymore. What I want you to do, God, is to take care of everything. That is trusting in the Lord. Now, more about the Bible, the Bible says, 
Let us not lean on our own understanding. Most of us, yes, we do trust in the Lord, but we also lean in our own intelligence. We also lean in our own uh, understanding. We also lean in our own wisdom. We also lean in our own uh, uh, perceiving. We also lean in our own structural things that we come across in our lives. Now, the Bible is instructing us today that when you trust in the Lord, our satsap, those things that you used to believe in them, those used that you used to trust in, those things that you used to believe that someday they are going to give you a better life. Someday they are going to bring out a better you. Because why? You believe that those things are the ones that works. But now when you trust in God, those things don't work anymore. Only God works in your life. Hallelujah. You forget that you are educated. You forget that you are coming from what, what, what estate. When you come to Winnie Mandela, you forget who you are. You forget your stand. You forget your ability. You forget your might. You forget your power. You forget whatever that made you to be you. And you trust in the only person that we call our God. And this thing, let me tell you, can never happen if there is no stupidity inside. Why do I call it stupidity? Baba wa understanding na kiri butla elo ba butla tla. We are too shallow to learn your modem. When we have read the Bible, is just explaining it nicely and and openly. You don't lead on your lean on your own understanding. How fit amo ori Jehovah is my shepherd, I shall not want. Again, you don't say. Jehovah is my shepherd, but at least I have a job. But at least I have money. But at least I have a house. You don't boast. You don't boast by the things that you have in your own life or the things that you have attained in your own life. You only boast about what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now when we go on, when we go on reading the word of the Lord, it says when we are trusting in the Lord, we take everything and everything that we own unto him. I have tried the Lord so many times and I saw that he is really a God that is trustworthy. You can really trust him. I can give you an example of many things that I know that I can tell you today that they are not trustworthy. Things that we trust in are not trustworthy. But this God that we are saving, Mudimori Mashankelang, Wabotea, Watsepahala, Rafitori, and Ahari Wotilayena, when we trust in Him, our lives changes, our lives become whatever that God wants our lives to be. Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of Psalms. 121 verse 1. Psalms 125 verse 1. We are speaking about trusting in the Lord, isn't it? 125 verse 1. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Baba Botang Morena, Batswana Litaba, Yatsion, Ye Dulang Ilehona, Ye Sa shooting Oya Wile. When you trust in the Lord, number one, 
your foundation is established. Your foundation is established. When you trust in the Lord, number two, your destiny is sure. Why? Because you are trusting in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, number three, you no longer do according to what you think, but you do according to what God wants. I've never heard of in my entire life why? Because that mountain has got its own foundation. It is rooted. Let me say so. When you trust in the Lord, you are rooted. Unalimidu. You know what you want here. And the Bible says you are not moved. You don't find yourself in a certain place when you, where you were not thinking that you will go. You don't find yourself in situations that you never thought you'll find yourself in. Why? Because you have roots in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Okay. When you are trusting in the Lord, I will live in circumstances. When you are trusting in the Lord, you don't look at circumstances of life. When you are trusting in the Lord, you don't look at how people are doing their things. Hallelujah. Huh? When you are trusting in the Lord, you don't go by group. When you are trusting in the Lord, you don't go by group. Not even having a valid reason. You don't even know why you are doing it. If somebody can just decide and say, this Sunday I'm not going to church and you call that person, you ask, uh, uh, where, where are you? How, uh, how are you doing it? Are you going out now? Or how are you doing Are we going to church now? And if that person can say to you, I am not going to church today, I'm not feeling well. You said, mm, I'm not also going. Why? When I reach it, they get all boring. Liang Kwan Kere. Kantinaina, when we trust in the Lord, Auna Ishuya Uboreya. You are not here because of me. You are not here because of somebody. You are here because of your own God. You want to go on believing and trusting in the God that has saved you. You know, if we can, we can have Christians that are trusting in the Lord, we can have people in the house of God that believe in God and then there is then that we can then see or start to see signs and wonders following us. Why? Because most of the things are not happening in our lives. Why? Because we are not rooted in him. Arnami 
Everything that can come our way can take us away. Every wind that can blow can just take us away. Every talkings that can come can just move us. Everything that can just appear on our face in front of us can just take us out of the will of the Father. So can you ask the person that is close to you, are you trusting in the Lord? When you trust in the Lord, you dwell in the house of the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, you dwell in the land of the Lord. You dwell in his presence. 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 There is no coincidence. The Bible says, when you trust in the Lord, you will feed on his faithfulness. You will feed on his faithfulness. Remember the word of the Lord is true. And always right and always directive and always showing us the way and always showing us what to do and not what not to do. Now, when you are trusting in the Lord, for you to trust in the Lord, you enjoy in his faithfulness. There are some of us who are here today, we don't even understand or know the faithfulness of God. Are some money modima shuma karama pilarna katsila sepahalango baya overtea. Why? Because we are not having roots. We are not grounded in our faith. We are not grounded in trusting in Him. When you are grounded in trusting in the Lord, let me try to explain. You don't care if you have food or you have food. You don't care if you don't have a car or you have a car. You don't care if you have a house or you don't have a house. You don't care if your friend has a job or you don't have a job. You don't care if somebody has money or you don't have money. What you care about is that the God that you are serving is so trustworthy and you know that someday he's going to give you whatever you are crying for. That's trusting in the Lord. I trust in the Lord because there is one, two, three that I can show, that I can point that God has done one, two, three in my life. So let me tell you something, child of God, from today. Trust in the Lord even though you are not seeing anything. You just trust him because he's trustworthy. You just trust him because the Bible said so. You trust him even though you haven't seen anything. You trust him even though financially there is nothing. You trust him even in your life there is nothing that you can say that is good about you. But you trust him. You trust him, even though you are so, so sick. You just trust him that one day my God will heal me. That's trusting in the Lord. Even though you are not going to be That is why in the beginning I said to you, trusting in the Lord involves being a stupid on earth, but being clever or are being raised or being raised in the eyes of the Lord. Why? Because you are only trusting in him. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. 
It's very simple or easy when we are speaking about. But when we go in depth to trusting in the Lord, for us many, it's very much difficult. Can you ask the person that is close to you, is it easy for you to trust in the Lord? Is it easy for you to trust in the Lord? It's not easy. Oh. Eh? It's not easy. But trusting in the Lord has got great rewards. We are very much looking on material things. I always speak it every Sunday. There is nothing that I want now anymore. I just want to go to heaven. When we come to the house of the Lord as children of God, we are not here because there are things that we are searching for. We are here because we trust God that he said when we move out of this world, we are going to be transformed and we will find ourselves in heaven. We believe that. We trust that. That whatever that God has said is going to happen. When we trust in the Lord, whatever that the Bible says pertaining his children, pertaining what will happen to his children, cometh to pass in our lives. Why? Because we trust in him. Psalm 115 verse 11 says, When you trust in the Lord, he is your help and your strength. You will never fall. You will never faint. Why? Because you trust in him. You will never go astray. Why? Because you trust in him. You will never go wrong along the way. Why? Because you trust in him. You will never fall. Why? Because you trust in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord means trusting in the word, the Bible. The words that are written in the Bible. The words that are written in the book of life. Following them each and every day of our life. Believing in whatever word that has been written in the Bible. Believing in this inscribed or anointed words that are written there. And you believe that whatever that the Bible is saying is going to happen in your life. Why? Because God said so. Hallelujah. But Sometimes when you feel sick, you don't sit down at home and sleep. Why? Because you trust in the Lord. You take up yourself. You prepare yourself. You come to the house of the Lord because he is your help and he is your strength. Come and come on. He gives you power. He gives you strength to be able to stand. When every, everything that is surrounding you is saying no to you, because you have the strength from God, you believe that everything one day will say yes to you. We when there is something that we have heard, there is preparatory time. When God is still preparing you. We become tired. And by becoming tired, we move out of the way of God. We move out of the will of God. Why? Because we move out of the will of God. She trust in the Lord dwell in the land, you will be like Mount Zion and God will give you strength to go on. God will give you the ability to go on. God will give you the power to proceed in whatever failure that you are meeting. God will give you the strength to go on with whatever you are meeting in life.
Now, when we are trusting in the Lord, when our whole ability, our strength, everything that is pertaining to us, like I said in the beginning, when you trust in the Lord, everything that pertains to you, your car, your house, your clothes, your whatever, whatever you name it, whatever you call it, it's in the hands of God. So when now something wants to happen in you, I believe if you really will trust in the Lord, we are going to say, Jesus, Father, Mara. To show that really we don't trust in him. Mane. Your way, me and go way. Eh? It's true what I'm saying. This is what most of us usually do. I have read in the word of God and the word of God says when we are in the Lord it is no longer me that liveth but Christ that liveth in me. It's, it means what I do is no longer what I love to do but the things that Christ wants me to do. What I think is not the way that I usually think, but I think the way that God wants me to think. What I perceive is no longer what I normally perceive. It's perceiving, but going according to what God wants me to perceive. In other words, it means my life has totally, completely changed. And now I'm being ruled and controlled by the spirit of the almighty God. Can you tell the person that is close to you, can you trust in the Lord? In the same chapter, in verse 9, it says, God is our shield. He is our protector. A shield was used in the olden times when people goes for war. Now God is our shield. When you trust in him, he will protect you. When you trust in him, he will provide for you. When you trust in him, he will give you your heart's desires. When you trust in him, he knows what you are lacking. He knows what you want. He knows what you need. He knows what you are crying for. He knows what you are praying for. The only thing that you have to do to tell him is, Father, I still trust that you can. I still believe that you can. Now, anyway, God allows us to be in situations. Why? Because he wants to train us so that we can be better people tomorrow. So that we can be better somebodies tomorrow. But these things only happen in our lives, Bazalwane, when we are trusting in the Lord completely. I really love to trust in the Lord. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you trust in the Lord? Psalm 73 verse 28 says, when you trust in the Lord, you will be able to declare, speak of his goodness. To declare the good things that he has done in your life. To declare the wonderful things that he has done in your life. To declare the great things that God has done in your life. To declare or speak about the big things that God is doing in your life. Why? Because you trust in him. Baba Ngobari nice. some of us, because we don't trust completely, holy, Mogumudimu, in God. We don't even know whom are we giving, are we going to give glory to. Ngele katoa mutu wa munga abulela wa mupediari, mudimu leba dumi, leta kopa nana mo, liangungwa ngere. Why? Because you don't know where you are standing. Can you ask the person that is close to you, can you have a stand in trusting in God? If it's not God, there is nothing. If it is not God, I'm not going to do anything. If I'm searching for a job and they tell me I have to do one, two, three. No, I cannot do this. I'm going to get my own job. If God is not giving me, it's fine with me. 
In other words, I don't have to struggle. I don't have to do things according to the way of men. I do things according to the way of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you trust in God, he takes care of you. When you trust in God, he saves you from any danger that may come along your way. When you trust in God, he delivers you from the snare of the fowler. Some of us, we are not supposed to be here today. But thank God we are still alive. Why? Because God has allowed us to be still alive. Not because we are wise. Not because we are better than other people. But because God was taking care of us. Because there is a purpose of God upon our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 39 verse 18 says, I will surely deliver you. You shall not fall. You shall not fall. Because I will deliver you. Jeremiah 39, 18. I will surely deliver you. So that we may not fall because of what? Because of the enemy. Because of the plans of the enemy. Because of the sword of the enemy. Because of what the enemy is doing against us. Because of the plans of the enemy that is planning against us. When we trust in the Lord, God has given himself a task, a job of taking care of me and you. Why? For his name's sake, because we trust in him. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you trust in God? Do you trust in God? It's good to trust in God. Because whatever you meet along the way, God will make sure that you are out of that situation. God will make sure that you escape that accident. God will make sure that you are healed from that disease. God will make sure that whatever that is troubling you will come to pass, will go away. God will make sure that if you don't have a job, you will have your job. God will make sure that whatever you are searching for, you will have it. Why? Because you trust in him. Why? So that you can go on speaking about the good things that he's doing in our lives. Why? So that these people can know that the God that we are saving is a living God. So that these people can understand that the God that we are saving is a God that supplies according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I can say right now, most of us, many of us, we are failing God. Can you ask the person that is close to you, are you not failing God? When I say, are you not failing God, I mean, are we not failing God because we are failing in the little things that God has trusted us with? The little task that God has given unto you. It goes on and says, your life shall be a prize to you. Because you have put your trust in me. Why? Because you have put your trust in the living God. When God heals us, when God protects us, when God delivers us, when God saves us, He wants us to speak of the good things that he has done in our lives. And when we start to speak about these wonderful, beautiful things, oh, God has saved me. 
God has made me to be who I am. That is why you will hear me most of the time I will say unto you, if it was not because of the love and the grace of God, I was not supposed to be standing in front of you. So somebody who is seated there was listening to me. One can say, I'm boasting. But one will then say, if God has done it to that woman, it means he can do it also for me. This is what God wants from us. This is what God needs from us. You know, when we trust in God, our God shows up. They can be laughing for this short while, but when we appear, he will appear with a great storm that each and every person will see that your God really is a living God. Imagine when you are sick and you are at the point of death and people are saying this, this and that about you. But you hold on to your salvation and hold on to the word of God and hold on to the promises of God and hold on to what God has said and hold on to everything that God has prophesied that will come upon you. You know, some of the promises that are there in the word of God, but still, we believe that they will come to pass in our lives. If they don't, it is because of the will of God. So now when you stay there and you hold on to whatever that God has spoken unto your life, though you are sick, though you are feeling pains, though there is trouble there, there are some things that are going not well in your body, you hold on to that word that says, by his stripes I'm healed. You hold on to the word that says, God loves me to be healthy. God wants me to have a life that is so awesome, that is good. God wants me to have everything, every spiritual and every physical blessing must come up my life. You hold on to those things. When you are feeling pains, you said unto your neighbor or you say it unto yourself, I know that God one day is going to heal me. God will never allow you to fall. If you can ask uh, uh, some people why they have fallen, number one, they listened to people. When you trust God, you don't listen to people who do you hear me? Go with your mutual and coffee when I out sepple and demo tell it about. When you trust God, you don't look at your situation. When you trust God, you don't look at time. When you trust God, you don't look at others. When you trust God, you don't do what? You don't listen to anybody. But you hold on to the promises of God. When you trust God, you don't look at your situation, circumstances. You don't look at time. You don't look at others. You don't look at how other people are going on in their life. You just know that someday my turn is going to come. Hallelujah. When you trust in the Lord, the Lord helps you. We've spoken it in the beginning. He's your helper. He will stop all the wickedness that is around you. Not to happen to your life. Why? Because you trust in him. Our God is a gracious God. Our God is a good God. Our God is a God who does whatever that he has promised. He cannot say he will deliver and he does not deliver. He cannot say he will heal and he does not heal. He cannot say he will protect and he does not protect. He cannot say he will lift us and he does not lift us. 
He cannot promise that he will take us to better places and he does not take us to better places. Because he's a faithful God. Can you ask the person that is close to you, can you trust in God? Can you trust in him and him alone? Can you trust in his faithfulness? Can you trust in his love? Can you trust in the things that he's able to do? Some of us, we think our situations are so big, God cannot be able to change them. Some of us, we think whatever we are meeting is so great and God cannot do anything about them. But I regularly we change. When we are trusting in the Lord, our lives will never remain the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to finish up by saying this. When God gave Abraham a promise and said, your children will be like stars that you are seeing, there was nothing to show. And he grew and grew and grew and became an old man. Still, there was nothing. And above all, God took him and showed him a land and said unto him, your children are going to stay in this land. But there was nothing. When something came in his life, when something appeared in his life, when a child, a promised child appeared in his life, God said again, take your child, make a sacrifice. I never heard in the Bible where it says, he asked God, but you said this is a promised child. He just went and say, I'm going to do what God told me. I don't know how God is going to do what he said. I don't know how God is going to raise my, my, my lineage. I don't know how God is going to lift me up. I don't know how God is going to make my children to feel this place. But let me just go and do what God is saying. He took his son to Mount Moriah. He wanted to make him a sacrifice. And God said to him, Abraham, now I have seen how much you trust in me. Hallelujah. Most of us, we Christians, we are failing when we are somewhere there, just about to close to reaching where God wants us to reach. Just about to reach a destiny. We fail. Just about to reach where God wants us to reach. We fail. Why? Because of little things. Just when you are in the church and the pastor make an example and this example is like it's going to the direction of that problem that you have. And your friend comes to you and says, did you hear? The pastor was talking about you. I believe whom whom might have told him about your problem. But that thing, that small thing, you walk away from the house of God and you miss your blessings. That's how it's happening. That's how simple it happens. And many of us, we don't realize and recognize that we are here in the plan of God. Can you tell somebody that is close to you, you are in the plan of God. God knows your beginning and he also knows your end. If now all of us here, we can start to say today, I want to trust in God no matter what. 
Charis will be a church that everybody will speak about. Why? Because God will be doing something each and every day in our lives so that we can have testimonies. Testimonies that we can go out and tell other people that God is alive. God has done one, two, three in my life. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? And now people are going to start seeing and being opened. Their eyes will become open so that they can see the goodness of God because of me and you. Now, God is not visible in this time that we are living in. Why? Because we become tired so quick. There is a saying in English that says, Rome was never built in one day. So now, how can you enter Christianity this year in January and expect yourself to be having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in June? God has not even started working in your life. God hasn't even started doing something in your life so that you can be suitable for this one, two, three that you are searching for. It takes trust. It takes trusting in God for you to reach a higher level. It takes trusting in God fully for you to find yourself where you are dreaming about. It needs you to trust in God with everything that you have. Why? So that you may be able to attain the promises of God that are upon your life. So I want you to sit down right now. Think about how much are you trusting in God? When you trust in God, you don't believe in any other thing. You don't believe in any other thing. You believe in God in, and God alone. If people are going straight and you are still going that other way, you just said, my time will come, I'll go straight also. Like others. Let me end by saying. Imagine the life of Joseph. When his brothers. His fellow brothers. Sold him. Because he was a dreamer. Dreaming too much. And these dreams were troubling them. He decided to sell him. When he reached in Egypt, he went on dreaming again. Why? Because this dreaming was inside him. Even though he was a captive, but the dreaming was still in him. Until he ended up as somebody who is bigger in Egypt. Until whatever that God has said there at the beginning happened through him because he took his family to Egypt. And when they reached Egypt, they started to be many. And a time came where they were supposed to be taken by Moses to get, go back to the promised land, to go back to Canaan. Why? Because somebody's dream was never stopped. He trusted in God. When Moses took the Israelites out of Egypt, going to Israel, they were going to the promised land, isn't it? But Moses needed to trust God more because I believe one time along the way they might have returned and go back to where they were coming from. Why? Because they didn't know the God that Moses was following. But now all these people that are around you, your homestead, the people at your home, your relatives, your brothers and your sisters, can know that God is alive and God can do it if you can trust in God fully. They will then understand that the God that you are serving is a living God. They will then understand that the God that you are serving is a God who supplies 
They will understand that the God that you are serving is the God that gives you whatever to, you want according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. They will then understand that the God that you are serving is a God that heals. They will then understand that the God that you are serving is a God that is alive. The only thing that we have to do as children of God is to trust in him. Can you tell the person that is close to you, trust in God? We need to trust in him. We need to believe in him more. You have food, you don't have food, trust in God. You are working, you have a job, you don't have a job, trust in God. You are sick, you are healthy, trust in God. Your things are not going the way you were thinking, trust in God. You were thinking by 2017 you will be where, 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 we're doing one, two, three. Let me tell you something, trust in God. Allow them to laugh at you, but you are going to laugh last. Allow them to speak about you, but you are the one that, we are the one that will have a voice that will speak last. Allow them to ridicule you. Allow them to call you names. Allow them to do whatever they want to do with you. But at the end of the time or the end of the day, you are the one that is going to be visible. Why? Because you are trusting a God that never fails. We want our God to be visible, isn't it? We want his greatness to be known, isn't it? We want people to know that we are serving a God that never changes, isn't it? But the only thing that we can do, all of these things, is when we trust in him. Can we all stand up? Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you trust in God? Ask again, do you trust in God? Do you trust in his ability? Do you trust in his power? Do you trust in his anointed? And do you trust in his word? If all of us, we can start today to trust in the Lord faithfully, wholeheartedly, with all our mind and all our strength, and we believe that whatever that we are crying for is in the pipeline, it's coming. It's on the way, it's coming. Whatever I've been thinking, it's on the way, it's coming. God will grant us our heart's desires. Can you ask the person that is close to you again, do you trust in the Lord? I know it's difficult, I can see in the others, it's very difficult to ask. Can you ask again, do you trust in the Lord? How many of us want to trust in the Lord as from today? As we are all raising our hands, can we all raise our hands before the Lord? I want us to pray. You pray for yourself. You ask God to give you the grace. So that you can be able to trust in him. Holy, faithfully, truthfully. With everything that you have. Trust in him. Never leaning on your ability, your understanding, your knowledge, your wisdom. Just trusting in him. Never kneeling on the things that you are able to do. Just trust in him. Even though you know that you can take this from here to there. Just trust that the Lord will enable me to do one, two, three. Not because I can, but because he allowed me to do it. Can we all pray? Let us pray. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I come before you in Jesus' name. Lord, I just love to trust in your word. Trust in your abilities. Trust in your strength. Trust in all the things that you can do for me. Trust, Heavenly Father, that you can lift my life up. Oh, dear Jesus.
trust that you can take me from glory to glory, from power to power, from anointing to anointing. Let your grace and your love be visible upon my life. Let your wisdom be visible upon my life, Lord. Let your glory be visible upon my life, Lord. Let not it be my will, but your will be done. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for your children tonight in Jesus' name. Father, let your glory be visible. We want your light to shine upon us. We want your hand to be visible upon us. We want your mercy to speak for us. We want to trust in you fully. We want to trust in you with all our hearts. Yalabasa tulubushiete mendari yondulusi. Yarivalashiete rekeri yondulusi tarabasai. Marababashiete rukuriende lebesiende. Yaribesia turukushia dalabasite. Koriata lababanda labosiete. Father, we want to trust in you. We don't want to trust in our own abilities. We don't want to trust in our own knowledge, the things that we know. We want to trust in your word, the things that your word says. The things that your word, Heavenly Father, is explaining to us. Only hearing the word, Lord, we want to trust in whatever that we have heard. Father, we have heard that you are a healer. We believe that you can heal us. We have heard that you are a deliverer. We believe that you can deliver us. We have heard that you are a provider. We believe that, Lord, you'll provide for us. We have heard that, Heavenly Father, you can lift us up to higher levels. I believe you can lift us to a higher level. We believe, Heavenly Father, we have heard that you are our shield, our helper. I believe that, Lord, you are going to shield us and help us so that we may not fall. We have heard that, Heavenly Father, you can be our strength. Let you be our strength as firm today so that, Heavenly Father, we don't stumble across the way, so that, Heavenly Father, we don't mix our ways and everything that we are doing. Oh, glory be unto God in the highest. Open our eyes, Lord, so that we may be able to see and understand the glory, the anointing that is reigning upon our lives in Jesus' name. Oh, yeah, la basi ya talamanda la la shioto robo yenda. Ha, la basite. Your word says, Lord, we must trust in you and not lean our own understanding. Most of the time, Lord, we lean in what we know. We lean in what we understand. We lean in what Heavenly Father we perceive. We lean in Heavenly Father in the things that we have heard from outside. But today, Lord, I pray for our church I pray for each and every one of us today, tonight, that, Lord, we lean in your word only and only your word. Father, we trust in your word only and only your word. We trust in whatever that is written in your word and only your word. And we believe that whatever that is written will come to pass in our lives in the mighty, precious name of Jesus. We believe that your glory will be visible upon us. Your power will be visible, Lord, upon our lives. Oh, glory be unto God. Father, we want to trust in you, faithful, holy. We want to trust in you day in and day out. We want to trust in your word, trust in whatever you say. Trust in whatever you say to the prophets of old. Trust in the word that you have spoken, spoken through their mouth. Trust in the word, Heavenly Father, that you have spoken through your servants. Trust in the word, Lord, that you give us each and every day when we come to your house to assemble. Trust in everything that is being done in the presence of your spirit, Heavenly Father, in front of us. So that, Lord, when we go out, when we trust in you, we can always speak of your goodness and always speak of your greatness. Oh, God. Oh, my Father, my healer, my provider. 
the Lord who never fails, the Lord who is always there, the Lord who stays on the promises of his word, the Lord who is always abide, akanda lo saati eboshia, mandile bo saata rakali ala shitere yando, reberi anda rakala basi atoroshi emenderi ala, ribe hale saate lebo shike mayende yando lo siya, I trust and I believe in you. I trust wherever that comes my way. I trust wherever circumstances that is there. I trust wherever people, they are saying whatever they say. I trust even though my circumstances don't allow. I trust even though my situations don't agree with whatever is said. I believe and trust even though whatever that I'm coming across, Lord, doesn't allow me. Heavenly Father, I believe and trust that whatever you have said in your word will come to pass in my life in the name of Jesus. So, so I believe, Lord, I trust, I believe. I believe and I believe, Lord, I believe, Jesus. I trust in you, creator of heaven and earth. I trust in you, the author and the finisher of our faith. I trust in you, the ender and the beginner. I trust in you, the author. I trust in you, Jesus. I trust in you, Savior of all mankind. I trust in you, healer of our diseases. I trust in you, Heavenly Father. I believe and I trust that, Lord, whatever that you have commanded through your word is going to come to pass. Oh, my Lord, Satalabashika. Our trust, Heavenly Father, has gone down, Lord, because of the challenges that we are meeting each and every day in our lives. Many of us, our trust has gone down because of the things that we have heard. Many of us, our trust has gone down because we have been looking and we have been searching and the things that we are searching for are not coming to pass. Lord, many of us, our trust is going down because, Lord, what has been promised is not coming to pass in our lives. But now, Lord, we want to search our lives. We want to search our inner being. We want to search in our depth, the depth of our hearts. We want to search our works. We want to search our sayings. We want to search our deeds. We want to search our talkings. We want to search the way we walk. We want to search the way we think. We want to search the way we perceive. We want to search the way, Heavenly Father, we answer other people. Father, help us, O oh God. Help us so that we may stay in trust. Help us, Lord, so that we may be able to be like Mount Zion. So help us, Lord, so that we may not be shifted. Help us, Lord, so that we may not be able to move. Help us, Lord, that Heavenly Father, we can have roots in this kingdom of salvation. Help us, Lord, so that we can be examples in the lives of others. Oh God, I give you praise. Oh God, I give you glory. Oh God, I worship you. Oh God, I adore your name. Yalakasa mandala shite yarari bebe sandala katoroshia mandile bo satalaba shike rekebe riatalaba shika. You are the God that provides. You are the God that gives us our heart's desires. You are the God that gives us whatever we cry and pray for. You are the God that meets our need in every way, in every way that we go. Ora halabas yatalamande. Ayala Karabashi, Ora Labasi and Alama, Ayele Boshi, Terenda La Cassia. I pray for our church, Lord. I pray in the Lamasi Toloshika, Ayala Cassada. You said we will never fall as we trust in you. You said the sword will never be able to finish us when we trust in you. You said the word will never finish us when we trust in you. Allying tongues will never finish us when we trust in you. Oh, words that are out of your way will never finish us when we trust in you. We believe, Lord, we believe, Father. Oh, Malabasin, Dalabashi, Tedelasha, Aribes, and the Rebeshi, and the Lokaya, Ayelesia, Tanandanamasi, Tokori, and the Rebeshia. Eh, Alalasti. I will go on asking and go on believing, go on trusting. Trusting that you can open a way where there is no way. Trusting that you can be a shelter during rainy days. 
During stormy days, you can be my protector. Trusting in your word, Lord. Ah. Ah. Ah, ya la la sa tuloshi. I trust in you, Lord. Trust in you, Heavenly Father. Yes, I failed many times before. But I can never fail again. I have fallen many times before. I will never fall again. I have moved out of your way many times before. I'll never move out of a way again. I have lost focus many times before. But I will never lose focus again. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, thank you. Our lives will never remain the same. When your spirit is the one who is leading, we will never go astray. When your spirit is right here with us, darkness will run away. When your light is with us, Lord, we will never be robbed out of your way. We will never fall the second time again. Never fall again, Lord. Many times before, Lord, can we raise our hands before the Lord? Many times before, Lord, we have fallen. Some of us, we fell because, Lord, we thought you will never heal us. Some of us fell because, Lord, we were not seeing progress in our lives. Some of us, we have fallen because, Lord, we were thinking things are not going our way. Some of us, we have fallen because we were impersonating other people. Some of us, we have fallen because we wanted to look like others. We didn't know that God trusting in you can change our situations. Trusting you can change our destiny. Trusting you can take us to where you want us to be. Trusting in you can make our hearts desires to come. Trusting in you, Lord, and you alone. Trusting in you as the author and the finisher. We are standing before your throne of glory, Lord. I believe you are looking at us from heaven. Father, we are praying tonight. We are praying, Lord. Help us. Help us, Lord. Our hearts are full of anger, regrets, discouragement. We are even down, Lord. We don't even know what to do next. But here we are standing before you tonight, raising our hands before you. 
We have heard that when we trust in you, you will help us. Help us, Lord, in our unbelief. Help us, Lord, in all that we're failing in. Spirit of the Lord, thank you. I just thank you because you are faithful. I'm praying for each and every one of us who is here tonight. Each and every person who is here this evening. Father, change our hearts. Change our thinking. Change our thoughts. Change the way we speak. Change the words that come out from our mouth. Father, it was because we didn't trust you. Oh, Jehovah. Some of us, we did even say, where is this God that they are speaking about? Because I've been in this situation for long. I have been sick for long. I have been jobless for long. I've been rejected for a very long time. Some of us, we have said, Lord, I don't even know why I'm serving this God. I don't even know why I'm following him. But tonight, all of us, Lord, we are learning to trust you. Father, we are learning to trust you. From today, we will trust in you. Even though things are not going our way, we will trust you. Even though things are happening to others and not to us, we will trust you. Even though, Heavenly Father, some are healed right in front of us, but we are still sick, I will trust you. We will trust you. Even though others, their things are going well for them, but our own are still standing at the same place for many years. Oh, Father, we will trust you. If you have opened the Red Sea, I opened the way where there was no way. It means you can open a way for us. If you have provided food where there was no food in the desert, I trust you can do it for us, Father. If you have provided healing when people were beaten by snakes, oh God, I believe, I trust that you can also provide healing for us. There is always something for a situation that we are coming across. There is always an answer for a challenge that we are meeting. Father, I'm praying for all that are heartbroken. I'm praying for all that are not trusting anymore. I'm praying for all that have heard a lot. I'm praying for those that have lost their direction. I'm praying for those heavenly father that don't even know what to do anymore. I'm praying for those that don't even know where to go from here. I'm saying, Lord, we trust in you now. We trust in you. Holy Spirit, we trust in you. Spirit of my Father, we trust in you. Jehovah, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. You never died in vain. 
You never died in vain. You died so that we can have promises. So that we can see heaven. We trust in you, Lord. Father, touch each and every person that is here tonight. Crush every failure that we are coming across. Crush all stumbling blocks that we are meeting along the way. Crush all the deeds and all the sayings of the devil that were so heavy upon us. We didn't know that Heavenly Father, you have prepared everything for us and by due time it will come to pass. I give you praise. 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 Oh, yalla, rosa, etala, she, kaya, dia, si, tala, she, andala, su, turubande, ya, she, etereya. You are healing the heart of my sister. You are healing the heart of my brother. You are healing the heart of my father, my mother. You are healing the hearts that are broken. You are healing the hears that have heard things that are not right. You are healing the spirit, the souls that are broken right now in the name of Jesus. You are delivering us, Lord, from our infirmities and the things that are crushing us down. Each and every day of our lives, you are healing us, Heavenly Father. You are making us to ever stand. We will stand, Lord. And we will have foundations. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, my Father. Oh, Jesus. I give you praise. Can we clap our hands and we thank the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Can you clap your hands? You thank the Lord. <laughs> Understanding that he is the Lord that is weak in our life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Thank you for anointing us and giving us the grace once more. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name.